Assalamualaikum, my name is Azmir and welcome to another episode of Zilfit TV. Now I'm going to start a new series which I will call the Eleko Barbell series uh, in which uh, I will talk about the differences between each Eleko Barbell. Today, we're going to talk about the XF Barbell. As you all know, I started selling Eleko back in 2015. And at that time, I didn't even know what weightlifting and powerlifting were. I just knew about CrossFit because that's what I was into at that time. And um, so when I looked through the website and I saw multiple types of barbells, I didn't even know what was the difference. I thought there was only one type of barbell, which is a 20 kg. So I had to learn, um, I guess, the hard way. Um, I don't remember asking Eleko too much about the barbells. Um, I didn't even know what knurling was, um, that they have different diameters, different um, whippiness to the bar, nothing, nothing of that sort. And even when I got my first shipment, the bar was wrapped uh, in, uh, in, some, in a blue plastic um, wrap. And uh, I didn't want to open it uh, just because uh, I wanted to sell them. So I, I couldn't imagine what was the difference between the, all the bars. And the first time I bought uh, from Eleko, I had the XF, I've, I, have, I had the Technic bar, the powerlifting bar, the competition powerlifting bar, if I'm not mistaken. I, I got the um, weightlifting training bar. And uh, what's one more? Uh, I can't remember what's the other, the other one. XF, technique, powerlifting, weightlifting training. Oh God. Sport training bar. There you go. <laughs> so I didn't even open up the wrapping and uh, I just, when I sold to the customer, what I did was I asked them, you know, can I just open the, the, the wrapping and then just touch and feel the bar, you know. Um, obviously, immediately I could tell the difference because I had one China OEM bar, which is really lousy. It was, it's like one, a hundred dollar bar and um, it barely spins. Um, the knurling is so flat and, and, and slippery. It was really, really awful. So when I first touched my, uh, the, the Eleko bar, I immediately could feel the difference. Even when you uh, start to just carry it up, you know, uh, you feel the rigidity, the firmness. Um, you don't hear a lot of clanging, which a lot of uh, all these Chinese OEM bars have, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe they have improved uh, over the years, but um, it's just, it just felt solid, you know. So that was my first impression of an Eleko bar. And I believe that was the Eleko uh, weightlifting training, which I sold to one of the um, uh, CrossFit boxes in, um, in, in Malaysia. Um, but I still didn't know the differences between all the bars. Okay, so um, my learning process was that um, I asked, obviously I asked Eleko a few, a few questions here and there, and uh, basically just going through their website and just memorizing if I can say that, like this XF bar has 28 mm grip diameter and you know powerlifting has 29, blah, blah, blah. And, um, but for the most part, uh, how I learned was through feedback from the customers. You know, uh, people who are already in the, uh, in the industry, people who have used different types of bars and, under and understood what uh, the different bars uh, are made, made for. So that's how I learned. And obviously when you sell enough bars and you get enough feedback, you, you know, and once I got my own, um, my own unit, um, that's where it reinforces um, that knowledge, right? And um, I still get a lot of questions from customers like, okay, oh, I'm confused, which bar should I get? Um, and that's, that's, that's normal, you know, uh, it is confusing. Um, because 
if you boil it down, a bar is just a bar, and if you don't have a specific movement, by that I mean the clean and also uh, snatch, if you don't do those, you can just take any bar and then you can just do your workout, right? I mean, you can do squat, bench, deadlift, presses, whatever you want with it. There are little differences which I think make a lot of difference to the type of training that you would want to do, okay? Um, so I'll give you a, uh, an example. If you are doing CrossFit, obviously you don't want to use a powerlifting bar or a rack bar. It, it just doesn't make sense, okay? Um, so the small, small differences are what makes it important for the customers to decide which bar they want, okay? Um, I don't know whether I'm making sense here. But I think as we go along this series, you probably hopefully get an understanding of what I'm trying to say. Okay, so for today, we're just going to talk about the uh, XF bar. My first impression of it is that the X stands for cross and the F stands for fit, cross fit, right? Um, it's not wrong though. Uh, this is the bar. If you are doing cross fit, this is what I would recommend. It has 28 um, millimeter uh, grip diameter for the men's bar. Obviously, the female bar is 25. I didn't even know that there was a female bar when I started out, so now I know. Um, so, this bar has two, what do you call this? Grip markings. One is for weightlifting, one is powerlifting. I think, I think this one is weightlifting, this one is powerlifting. And it also doesn't have a center knurling. I've always wondered why uh, they never had a sentinel link. So my understanding is that because CrossFit, the, because in CrossFit you are doing volume work, right? If you have uh, the sentinel link here, it can sometimes um, shave off your uh, clavicles, right? Uh, if it, if it's sharp enough. If it's not sharp enough, obviously it doesn't it doesn't affect any, anything else. Um, that's why I believe that even if you're not doing CrossFit. This is the best bar, best generic bar that you can get from Elico. Number one is the, um, the price point. It's, it's the lowest end of the bar, uh, if I can say that. And, uh, and it can be used for, uh, obviously, the, those who are doing CrossFit, uh, those who are doing normal um, squat, bench, deadlift, presses, whatever. And if, Let's say if you are not doing CrossFit and you just want to do the normal, uh, you know, compound lifts, but eventually one day you would like to try to do cleans and also snatch, then this bar would allow you to do the, those, uh, those movements, okay? Uh, that's because it uses um, bearings. This is just feedback from, uh, I got from my, my numerous customers that when they use this bar for, for CrossFit purpose, even when they, they are doing the weightlifting movements, which is a clean and also snatch, they can feel the difference in terms of the spin. Now, a lot of people would, you know, say that, oh, look, the bar spins, you know, and it goes round and round and round for minutes, you know, and this one doesn't, you know. But it, my opinion over the last six years, that have been selling these bars, it's not how long it spins, right? It's how smooth it spins and at any load. So for the XF bar, if you are a beginner weightlifter, even intermediate, right? This is a good bar to have. So you can always transition from uh, your normal compound lifts. And then if you one day you want to try to do weightlifting, you have a bar that is able to, to, to do that. As for the knurling, the knurling is mild if you compare with the other Elico barbells. Uh, however, it is sharper than most of the Chinese OEM bars that I've seen in the market here in Malaysia. It's not sharp that it's going to tear your hands off, but it definitely will you know, give you calluses uh, on your hands and uh, more so than if you were to use the um, Chinese OEM bars. In terms of the whippiness, 
this bar is the same as the performance weightlifting bar and I think it's also the same as the weightlifting training and also competition bars. Mm, they are all 28mm, um, they're made from the same Swedish steel. One of the good things about the Eleco barbell and the Swedish steel is that um, the bar always returns back to its normal um, shape um, even when you when, even with, when you put a lot of weights on it and you drop it and you can see it like you know uh, whipping and it always goes back into its, its um, uh, normal shape. So to summarize, if you are a crossfitter and you want a barbell, look no further and get the XF bar. If you are somebody who is looking to set up a home gym and you don't particularly like to do crossfit and you just need a bar to do all the compound movements, you can get the XF bar, right? And if one day you decide that, uh, you know, I want to try to do some snatches or cleans, this will serve you well, okay? Is that number three? No, there's no number three, right? So this is the, the bar that I would recommend to most people, especially at the price point, uh, you're getting a lot of use um, from the bar, okay? All right, so if you have any questions that I might not have answered in this video, leave your questions or your comments in the comment section below. If you need to get this bar, my email address is in the description, okay? I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I really appreciate that uh, you do so. Don't forget to turn on the notification button. And thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next Eleco Barbell series. Bye.